Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Django tutorial. We are learning Django along with DivK Learner. So uh, today we are going to continue with the basic programming code that we were doing yesterday. And uh, what we will be doing today is less than, uh, greater than, less than, equal to, and greater than, equal to, in our view. So very quickly, I'll just take you over to the to the code. So till yesterday, we were having DivK Learner, the name, the num1, num2, uh, where we were talking about the numbers. So I've just entered one more thing, marks and physics there. So in order to uh, work on this, the first thing that I've done is I've updated the DivK form, and that's the value that we are updating. And then uh, we have also updated the views. So this is the view that we have uh, from the view. This is the value that we are getting. But for creating this variable, I have also created a variable here, which is equal to minus one. And then I've also created one more variable, which is not being declared in the form, but I'm using it where I've written down send is equal to zero. So the first time when the user logs in, this send would be zero. And this send, uh, once the request is post and everything is valid, this will become equivalent to one. So this is how I will take care of the first time user and the multiple users. And I'll tell you what, what I'm trying to do. And uh, then what we are doing is we are sending all the variables here in the context. And uh, that's how we are working. So the next part is about updating the, the, uh, the template. So this is where we are updating the template. So here uh, we have already written down this code for finding out the value of the user who, the, the name of the user that we are passing in the first uh, box in our view. Whereas this is what we have written. I've written down the value of the center because I don't want to write down the value of the center. I just wanted to check it. So I basically don't require it so I can remove it from here. But this is where I'm checking if the center is less than or equal to zero. If the value of center is less than or is equal to zero, that means that this is the first time that you're logging into this page. So if it is the first time, uh, I don't want it to go through this complete loop uh, by checking if two numbers are equal or not because we have not given the number. So we'll write down here, we are waiting for the input. That's if center is less than equal to zero. Similarly, I have tried giving you the example of uh, less than. So here is the example of less than equal to zero. Similarly, I'm doing it here and we'll write down if center is less than equal to zero, we are writing down, we are waiting for your input. Uh, then uh, the next part is again, else if marks physics is greater than or equal to 75. So if it is greater than or equal to 75, it is distinction. So, uh, yeah, so there is one thing which I've done incorrect. I'll just write it down as as 100. So in that scenario, it should not be greater than or equal to. It should be if the marks in physics are greater than 100, then it will say is marks uh, 100 are out of range, and it should be between 0 and 100. If it is greater than or equal to 75, it is distinction. If it is greater than or equal to 60, it is the first class. So you will see that I'm, I've used a term called else if elif. Elif is combination of else and if. That's what we are doing here. So it is greater than equal into 60, then it is first class. If it is greater than equal to 50, it is second class. Else if, if it is greater than equal to 33, you have just passed. However, if it is greater than zero, but uh, but less than 33, because that's how the loop would go, uh, the, the conditions would go, you have failed. However, if the marks in physics are less than zero, I, I'm writing down that we cannot have a negative marking. So that's out of the range. That kind of a thing I'm doing. And that is where I'm uh, closing the end of part of it. So this is how we, we, we are working on this form. And uh, this is where we, where we have the example. So I want to check this. This is the form which, which is running. So I'll, I'll close this first. And I'll click on this to open up the form again so that it gives you the experience for the first time when we enter. So the first time when we enter, we send a value is zero and we are getting these two values. We are waiting for the input. We are waiting for the input. So here I'll, I'll put in Sachin as a name. I'll put in a number one as 23. I'll put in a number as 27. And in physics, I'll put in 69. And I'll click on Summit. 
then it gives me 69 as first class. In this example, I just want to check or the marks of max. But what is happening is every time I want to check the marks, the other values like the name, the number one, number two is getting vacant as well. I have to write that again. But again, in the case of working on, on the temporary part of it, I I don't want these values to be, uh, I don't want to input the values of it. I want that the default value should come in there. So this is how we can do it. We can be here. Uh, we can go back to the diff form that we have created, where we have created the fields that we want to show. And in here, we are going to write down initial value. So here we are going to put in a comma and write down the initial value of such in. So the name would show such in there. And then for num1, I'm writing down 23. And for uh, num2, I'm writing down the initial value as 34. So having done this, I will just click on file and save all. And I'll come back because it will restart the server once again. And you're saying that it is restarting the relevant server as this. And it is now running. If you want to quit, you can click uh, control break. So now I'll go here and try to refresh it but again if you see the values are still in the cache that's the reason you're uh, seeing those answers coming in but we have the default value here as well so now i can just work on maths so i put in 102 so if it is greater than 100 it will say that we have a range uh, between 0 and 100 so that's what it is writing down i put in 76 uh, and I click on the submit button, it shows me that it is distinction. I put in 75 because it is greater than or equal to, so it will be still distinction. If it is 60, it is one, as in first class. Even if it is uh, any anything between 60 to 75 would be first a distinction. And if I write in uh, anything below 60, might be 59, and it says that it's a second class. Till the point of 33, um, it will keep on saying, oh, sorry, not 33, but 34. It will keep on saying uh, 33 to 50. Yeah, okay, my fault. So if you take it till 50, it will be still showing you the second class. If you take it as 49, it will be showing you that you have just passed. So anything between 49 to 33 would be passed. And anything below 30, 33 would be 32, would be failed. And if you try to put in a number which is less than uh, zero, it will say that no negative marking uh, out of range, which is the range is between zero and 100. So that's where, where I was showing you this example. And this is the way that I uh, tried checking if the user is coming for the first time. So I didn't want to show them the results. And this is, um, if we go back to the to the form, uh, these are the how I've written on the initial values there. So uh, with that, we, we talked about the uh, some of the operators. These these four of them: less than, less less than, uh, less than, greater than, less than equal to, greater than equal to. Now we'll be talking about and or uh, and or, and in not in and it's not in in the next lecture in the next part so that's what i have uh, for today so i thank you for listening and learning with me i hope we have moved a bit forward in our learning contact me write in youtube comments or email to divklearner at gmail.com and just a request if you're a new user i request you to subscribe if you if you like the way that what i'm teaching and if you want anybody to learn along with me or you want to share it i'll really appreciate that as well so that i can get in contact with maximum people so that i can help them in re uh, shaping their uh, their learning along with me bit by bit every day so uh, if if you like it you can give your like it as like on the videos as well so uh, again i i just need to wish you a good good luck and good day so bye bye